Hello, I'm Jim Carlucci, the community editor for the Trenton Downtowner. And for the next in our series of interviews with Trenton's business, community, and cultural leaders, co-produced with Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media, we're at Studio City, New Jersey, uh, a media production complex in an old industrial site here in town. And we're meeting with Shelton Miner, the mover and shaker behind the complex. Good morning, Shelton, and thanks for sitting down with us. Shelton, what's your, what's your background in the film business? Basically, I started on photography. Photography. I, um, at the age of 17, I became one of the top fight photographers in the country, boxing. Um, basically traveled all over. I've had covers on every major sports magazine in existence, uh, covering everybody from Muhammad Ali to Sugar Ray Leonard to Tyson, all the fighting stars of the 80s and 90s. And I kind of got bored and uh, moved over into film. I was shooting for HBO at the time. And at HBO, you had the opportunity to work on other projects. So I started working on films, you know, as a production assistant, then as an additional still photographer. And uh, that's where I get bit by the bug. Why did you decide to locate this facility here? Well, I really wanted to create a playground for myself. So I said the only way I could create a playground for myself was to create an industry where others would come in and make their movies and allow me to make my movies for free. So that was really my, my idea behind it. And I picked Trenton because it was the state's capital. I moved from New York to New Jersey. And we just thought that this was a good spot for it. The city needed it. And uh, we've been right behind it ever since. Is all private investment to start yes. this up? Um, any governmental assistance? And there was none. Yeah. Everyone that we talked to said, there's, there's no money. State has no money. Government has no money. So we had to rely on ourselves. There, there have been efforts to do this in the past, most notably and notoriously the Mannix development. Um, that never got off the ground. You're still here. You're still in business. What's the difference? Um, basically, their deal was too big. It was just too big for the city. And um, with, the, with us not having a tax credit now in place, that makes it especially hard uh, for a business, especially a business that size. But we need the state's tax credit to, uh, to allow major films to come to the city and to the state to bring that revenue. Um. So are, you're not getting any, none of your clients are getting any assistance right now from, no. from the Film Commission no. or, the, uh, or the tax credit? Well, the Film Commission has very little to do with that. The Film Commission's job is really to drive projects to the state, and they're doing the best they can to do that. But without that tax credit, it's hard for the majors to come here and spend money when other states are spending 25 and 30%, giving them 25 and 30% tax credit to come to their states. Uh, so a lot of times they'll go to New York, they'll skip over New Jersey, and they'll go to Pennsylvania. Um, but uh, Stephen Gorlick, uh, president of the Film Commission, has been very helpful in, in, in trying to still steer business back here. Uh, they had Batman here a couple weeks ago for you know a couple days in uh, Newark. So that you know that's due to his efforts. So. In, in, in this regional market, what are you looking to compete for? For feature films or indies? Films, or music videos. It's, it's all independent work. Even the majors are buying their films from the independent market. So the studios are making very few films. They're always the independents that are selling their projects to the major studios. Um, but music videos, commercials, documentaries, anything we can get our hands on. We have teams in place that can handle all the business. Um, and, and you can bring your own crews in as well. So we have enough space to, to accommodate everybody. Um, so that actually leads me to another question. How much of your clientele uh, is our production companies and how much are your own projects? Um, we've done very few of our own projects yet. Um, but we're still working the kinks out of getting other people to realize that this is here and that it's a, it's a serious uh, business to, to, that can handle, you know, uh, all of their needs. So that's been our struggle, getting the word out. How do you market it? The, you know, the best ways, best avenues to market it. It's a, it's a total networking business. Mm -hmm. and, and when people come here, they always come back. There's, there's nothing like this in the state. So your, most of your competition is from New York and Philly? Uh, right. Not, not so much within state? No, not really. No. 
when they come in, are they bringing in their own crew or are you assembling crew and, and equipment for them? Um, is there a talent pool here? Do you have to do training? But there is so much talent in this state and in the city that you would be shocked to find out that people drive by and they see the sign and they come in and they bring their reels. And I'm saying this guy's doing high quality work and, and nobody knows he's here because he leaves New Jersey and he goes to New York every day. You know, so that's been the, 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 the amazing part. Um, I have performance here, I have a gentleman here now, Skip Nitty, who is uh, a rapper who's breaking into the movie industry. And we've created some projects for him. So we created this joint venture where we're, we've, I wrote and I'm gonna direct his projects. And they're designed to be vehicles to break him into the movie industry. It's an unorthodox way of doing it. Um, but it's been very effective for a lot of people. So you've been in business, uh, you, opened, you had a grand opening about a year and a half ago. Um, you're, you're still here. How, how have things worked out? Have they met your initial uh, expectations and are you following your initial plan? Um, or you know, have things changed? Of course we made a lot of mistakes being a new business and um, you know, having the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, but it's still about putting together a strong team. You know, my partner, Ed Groves, um, Tony Romano, who was one of our original investors. Um, we've just been really trying to, to build, you know, uh, a strong, powerful uh, business. And the fact is, we still need the support of the city. And we've had a lot of issues in the city with different things that have been going on, and I don't think we've gotten the support that we could have gotten. Um, but in that also, we still need the tax credit in place. We still need to do a better job at marketing ourselves. But at the same time, we've been, um, we've been fairly successful in, in, in doing what we do. So you feel that you've got the right mix of facilities and equipment to, to right. meet you can the needs always, of your You can always have more equipment. You, you know, the business is expanding and it changes so rapidly. You know, the hot camera of today is gone in six months and then you're on to something else. And uh, the industry is very funny in that way that they need the latest and the greatest, even if they don't understand why they need it. Um, so, but definitely we have, we have equipment that we can handle all the projects. And what we don't have, we can always rent. You know, we work with a company not too far from here that we, uh, where we get all of our equipment from if we need, you know, additional pieces of equipment that we don't have. So that's not an issue. I want to go back, since you brought it up, I want to go back to the point about the city. Um, were you referring to the, the community not supporting you or being aware of you or the city government or No, I both? think more, more community. <laughs> no, the government, it, they can't really do much, but um, the community. You want the community, you know, we've done a few uh, special events and parties and things like that, and, but we don't want to be known for parties. Mm -hmm. um, that'll get you in trouble. And um, we're a production facility, and naturally we've had to do different things to supplement our income until you know the bigger projects come in. But uh, in the meantime, we've just been trying to figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work, and that's that's where we are. And it's it's a learning curve. I mean, nobody's been able to do this. So there is no book, there is no blueprint, there is no map. There's nobody to call. I'm the only guy that's doing it. So. You know, there are other production companies in North Jersey, but nobody's doing it on this scale. Mm -hmm. So when you're creating the book, you know, it's a lot harder because you're, 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 you're winging it, you know. So um, we created an incredible uh, business plan, but still, as you go through the plan, you realize that certain things aren't going to work. So you have to adjust, you know, and it's almost a two-year mark and we're still here. So there have been some pitfalls, you know, we, we've lost some investment. You know, we're looking for new investors, but this is still a viable business. And once we do get that tax credit in place, and I know we will, this, this city and the state's going to be, you know, in, in good shape. So looking ahead uh, six months uh, and then a year, what do, where do you think, you know? Um, I think we'll be doing a lot more features. I think by that time we'll be ready to do our own, you know, projects and uh, bringing in other new artists that want to create their own projects and reality shows and TV shows. We're getting a lot more of that now. And we want to do more for education. We want to do more to help other programs 
that want to teach other children different things to do other than building. You know, other kids want to learn how to make movies. They want to learn the other sides of it, music. We have a recording studio here. We have a photography studio. And all of these things are available to anyone who wants to come in. Uh, we have a screening room. We have editing rooms. And um, we have enough space to accommodate anybody. So, Anything you would like to leave us with? Um, basically, come out and support Studio City, New Jersey. You know, we're doing some great things here. My partner and, and I are just really doing some some great things. My partner's actually worked with uh, President Obama on a project when they were over in Bucks County. So, you know, we've been playing with the big boys. You know, our work speaks for ourselves. StudioCityNewJersey.com, our Facebook and, and YouTube pages show some of our work. And we're here. We're going to be here. Great. Well, thanks for sitting down and uh, taking the time to talk to us today. No problem. So. Thank you. I'm Jim Carlucci, uh, community editor of the Trenton Downtowner, and we've been talking with Shelton Miner at Studio City, New Jersey. This is part of our ongoing series of interviews with Trenton's business, cultural, and community leaders that is a co-production of Community Service LLC and Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media. Thank you. <laughs>